Hello, my convicts and convict catchers. So, designer cab convict, and yes, we're gonna play some more Apex Legends. So, doing duos, we drop in. You probably know by the title where this is probably going to go. But anyway, here we go. So, I'm like, okay, I'll scan them out, and I can see there's a dude over here, so I'm pinging him out, just let the teammate know. I don't know if this is this happens, but when Bloodhound pings, does it actually show to the other players, or do I have to tell them? I never know this, so it's something I'm probably going to have to look into. I assume that they could see them as well. So I'm coming to the aid of the teammate, he gets down, he's like, okay, I'm on my way, you're going to have to give me a second. And you can clearly see I'm going towards him. Alright, right, I'm here, I'm here. And like, let me kick door in. And let me help you out of here. So as you can see, I've only got a P20. And the will to hopefully live. So I'm trying to get rid of this guy here. And he leaves the game. My teammate leaves the game. Had my teammate stayed in, he would have realised I actually won that guy. So teammate of little faith in uh, in this situation. So first I thought I did hear someone because there was a bit of a sound there, but apparently not. So pick up what I can, try and find any attachments I can use for these guns, and there we go. We're fully kitted. Just unfortunate that my teammate decided to run away and and leave the game. So now the question is, can Kappa actually go solo and actually win this? So here we go. Let's uh, see what we can do here. So as you can see how, how many Phoenix kits I had, it's like, geez, how many? Time graces me. The ring is close. It definitely is close there, tall bloodhound, but we have to be a little bit more strategic now in these gunfights. So yep, we're back to it on another Apex Legends. Hopefully you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell because sometimes notifications don't always get sent out by YouTube and it just helps out obviously with the channel, help me grow and all the good stuff. So I did decide to take the Phoenix kits. Uh, being obviously solo, if I get into a situation where I can heal and shield at the same time, would be beneficial, even though they do take a little bit more time to apply. So as you can tell, I was a little bit undecided where I was going at first. It's like, oh, do we go this way or this way? So this particular video that I'm doing today, I thought I'd share this one, because I, I think I actually did pretty pretty well to say the least to say my teammate had left at the beginning of the game and I do like to share these kind of videos as well because it always doesn't go to what you know according to plan and sometimes you do have to sort of try your best do what you can and see what you can get so try hard mode activated I assume As you can see the care package down here, like, okay, we'll go get this, and there's another one over there. Like, okay, okay. Like, I'm gonna wait for this one and hopefully get something good out of it. So theirs has dropped a bit earlier than mine. And there is some people over there, as you can see now. They've taken a care package, so I'll ping it out obviously to myself because there's no one else here. And uh, just looking where they are. So like, okay, they're going that way. I didn't assume they would probably want to come over here at first, but as you can see, he's dropped down. I'm like, uh oh, oh. These guys have dropped down, so let me quickly open this. Now they're going to know I'm here because that blue light's gone. And as you can see, I've managed to find myself a peacekeeper. So I'm like, right, I've got two people here, what do I do? So I, I nail this guy. And almost kill him. Then I'm like, right, I'm gonna focus on this one. 
broke his shield. It's like, okay. It's like, hang on, buddy. And I managed to hit him, and I was getting sniped at then. It's like, oh god, this is one hell of a, a time to get this. It's like, come on then. If we have to do this, this guy's got a gold shield. It's like, okay. I'm like, you're going down, buddy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. If I have to. It's like, right, let's get a reload in. Let's get out of here. Is my first thought. I'm, like, I'm just gonna run. And then I heard this guy down here. It's like, oh. No, I didn't realise it, it was going to look at me, so... <laughs> when you get stuck in the beast of the hunt, you can't do no until it's finished his animation. So, I was like, oh no, this is not what I wanted. And, whew, only just beat Pathfinder there. At this point, obviously, it was make like a chip and dip situation. But there we go, we managed to survive. Don't know how many teams, it looked like there was three teams of two there. So at this point, I can't really see because of the beast of the hunt. I can't see what is solved in these supply boxes until it goes away. But there we go. We managed to survive. I don't know how. But we've even got three kills out of that. Which is pretty cool. I, I, I feel. But there you go. Keep calm and collective and you could Possibly, I'll beat your opponent. So at this point now, it's just pick up as much ammo as I can. Now, for obviously having the Peacekeeper, the issue about these guns now, because they've been added to the supply drops, is they don't get extra ammo. You can't add more ammo to them. You can only just obviously run around with the ammo that they've got, and then once they run out, they run out, that's it. And as you can see, I only had 10 shots left. In the peacekeeper, but I didn't want to let it go. It is a pretty decent weapon, and now it's being put into the crates. And it's good to see how well I did with it in the circumstance. I think it was a pretty good idea at the time. So, as you can tell, this is pre recorded. Um, generally, you can tell anyway. And I do this mainly because my son's autistic and he i'm his main carer basically i'm the one that looks after him all the time so rather than have him in the background i re-record these during the day with no sound and then just add commentary to them afterwards on occasion and then most times i will try and do live commentary if possible but it means like getting up like i have done today at three o'clock in the morning or midnight in order to do these videos, especially when because of school being out. So there. Anyway, let's get back to it. Some bloodhound with an R99 and a peacekeeper. And hopefully the will to live. Also, let me know in the comments below what you feel of Bloodhound's new buffs. I actually really, really like them. Now, this is an experiment I was doing as well, because I thought I was going to die. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to do this. So, I'll put these back to the normal that I do normally put them at. And I want to try what would happen if I put these on full. Put everything on max, and let's see how it plays out. As you can see, I've left both the movement at the default level and then everything else put to max and same for the aim as well I always do videos for those who are interested for the Nikon Revolution Pro Controller not only that I do it for in-game settings as well so all you need to do for the in-game settings is leave the first two on default and everything else under the first two, put them all onto maximum. And that's for both movement and for aiming down sight. One thing I would like, please respawn, is to add in values 
on the advanced look controls. So I can at least just tell them what the numbers are rather than having to count. That would be very, very, very nice, please. And thank you. So I'm just going to check out these purple boxes, see if there's anything I can carry. Okay, two times. Just take that. I generally like the two times. Helps just a little bit with the range. Now generally generally for my field of view, I like it around about 86 is where I've got it. That's general generally I can't even say <laughs> can't even say it. generally where I like it. If I can say generally. Because generally is generally. So I come to this area now after I've got through my general list and I can hear obviously gunfights. I can see this guy here, he's got no clue I'm here so I'm like okay I'm gonna sneaky snake on this guy and then absolutely kill him. How he can't hear me I don't know but there you go. Bye bye buddy. I was like oh god someone's sniping at me. I'm like I just want to kill this guy please. And then I started getting shot in the booty. He's like ah oh, no don't shoot me in the booty. I'll just get rid of that enemy out of the way. I don't know how he didn't hear me from behind, but okay. I can hear someone else is like, where are you? Okay, he's here. Drill off your shield and then try and peacekeeper you if I can. And then there's another one up the top. I was like, oh god. I've got two now. I'm just going to chill here and just wait. I wanted them to try and engage with someone and then obviously I could attack them. So at this point obviously I can hear people fighting and then here comes another Wraith and bye bye Wraith and it's TTV by the way. Okay well he's out of here, he's done zoned. Let me just quickly shield back up. And then I can hear someone else. I like, oh, hang on, there's someone else here. There's, they're healing up. And then Pathfinder's gone up top. I'm like, okay. And he's got gold armor. I'm like, no, you're dying, Pathfinder. At this point, it's like, okay, I need to Phoenix kit. And all by myself, I am the kill leader. Thank God no one else had pushed me at that particular moment. Otherwise, I'd be dead now. And I've got five Peacekeeper bullets left. I absolutely destroyed that guy's gold shield. I was like, okay, well, I know that Pathfinder up top has got gold shield. And I'm just picking up a couple of little bits and pieces from inside. I'm like, right, now I should go up and get this gold. And this may help out a little bit. And there we go. So as you can see, I'm a harder. Yes, I like to hard <laughs> all the attack, all the shield batteries and health, but then again, I'm on my own, so I probably will need it. So right, right, there we go. So we've got R99, we've got Peacekeeper. And this Peacekeeper, since they buffed it, my god, it's good. I did get sniped, as you can see there, completely destroyed my gold. I don't know what he shot me with, but I'm assuming it might have been a Kraber. Okay. Someone's shooting at me but luckily with the gold as you can see here you actually level up two so shielding up with the gold shield is really 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 good like do I need anything else you know at this this moment just slightly panicking you know <laughs> But your boy managed to get two kill leader, and I'm still kill leader. As you look at the top right, you can see him with a crown on. So I don't think I, I did 
pretty bad. Six kills. Six kills towards end game. We've just got three squads left. Me and obviously two squads of two to four people I have to beat. Or three people. One minute remains. But obviously the third person is me. <laughs> On my lonesome. So at this point, I do camp just a little bit. Um, not much I could really possibly do at this point. Running around and waiting to run into a team of two, you know, is inevitable in this final stage. So at this point, I'm just wanting to try and sort of peek around, try and see if I can find more of a strategic position. And as you can see, this guy up there, I just noticed. So I came to this side and... In a moment, you see his applying and people going across there as well. So I know the two teams where they roughly are. There's TTV, by the way. Like, no. <laughs> I hate when people do that TTV. Oh, look, I'm from TTV. I'm the best person in the world. So I can see him shooting, is that okay? He's shooting over there. Like, can I possibly get down there without being seen? Is the question. And other teams over there. And I thought to myself, I can run to that side of the canyon. Or this area. I'm Gucci. I'm good. So I'm just going to chill out here. Okay, all I need these two to do is to fight. And then, obviously, I'll, I'll try and do my best and to see how many people I can kill before I die. What's the plan? This is the only problem about getting to end game. Well, especially my connection. For those who don't know my connection, I'm only on a 30 download and a 5 upload. My upload can be my main offender at times, I guess, if there's a lot, lots of things going on, like watching TV and stuff and things like that. My mobile phones, uh, as my little boy obviously does like to watch YouTube. I don't have no gaming router like I used to have before. So both broke. So you can see they both went up there. I'm like, crap, I don't want them to see me. I'm like, hopefully they don't. Let me go up around here. Maybe they'll be fixed on that other person. They've not shot at me yet, so I assumed I'm uh, pretty Gucci. Ten seconds until a closer battle. I'm like, okay, what I'm going to do, because I know there's two people up here, is try and sneaky snake on these two people and then see what we can do from here. So I'm like, damn, this guy's got a drone. And he's EMPing them, so I'm like, okay, he's distracted, he's inside the thing. And I tried to beam him, but unfortunately he managed to get out of the way before. And probably at this point what I should have done is rush down there. But they'd already killed the team. And they knew I was here. So I'm like, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit by this Wraith portal. And let me use my Bloodhound ability. I'm like, right, I'm just going to crouch here. And then hopefully... They're going to be silly enough to go through the portal, is what I was hoping for. So I'm just going to heal up. And the guy brung his drone, it's like, no, 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 I'm going to get rid of your drone. Don't think your drone's going to get me. And here he comes. And I was like, right, hopefully I can kill him. 57, another hit, that missed. It's like, crap. If only I could have killed him at that point. And they're both going to rush me now. And unfortunately, there we go. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if new, tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos, and you truly can be a convict or convicette. And yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicettes, and I'll see you soon in a, another gameplay. Unfortunately, we did lose, but I was kill leader, and we was this close to winning. Bye for now.